Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, and that means we're usually not doing our usual, you know, playing with uh, various Satella decks. So today we're playing with Robert Lopez's uh, Gas. Yeah, Robert Lopez has Gas. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't mean to insult the guy, but uh, uh, it's Gagaga -ga -ga Artifact Satellas. And I was trying to rearrange the letters because I was like, okay, well, generally when you have artifacts, you have a little bit of an anagram with it, of course. So I was kind of like, uh, what anagram can we go with? Gagagas, artifacts, Satellas, gas. So, yeah, he, pre he presented me with his gas and I'm <laughs> going to be using it. So, uh, I'm recording this video actually kind of late. It's like almost 9 o'clock at night. That's late for me. And I was, and I was kind of like, uh, I don't feel like recording. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just record tomorrow. Yeah, I'll record tomorrow. And then I thought about it and I'm like, wait a minute. I go to bed. I wake up at the crack of dawn to go ahead and donate because, you know, on Tuesdays, because I record these day ahead, on Tuesdays I go ahead and donate. And which, uh, we decided to still decide to go early in the morning and hopefully get out of there early enough for me to head to class and not be late because, you know, I'll have to leave. And I can't be late for class, definitely not. But, uh, class starts at uh, 9 30 and I don't get home until, like, you know, maybe around. I'd probably say around. Get out of class at like, wait, what time do I get out of class? I think one? I think one. I think around one. So, you know, by the time I get out of, out of, out of college and get my butt home, it's already time for this video to go up. So I definitely needed to, uh, be sure that I got, you know, to record this video because I won't have an opportunity to on Tuesday to really record it. You know, unless I can get home from donating early and then I can record, but no, it's not even worth the risk. So, I've still been kind of debating on, uh, of course, which days I will be, uh, you know, telling you guys about my, uh, my experience so far. Oh, well, there goes Mirror Force. And so far, I really haven't figured it out, right? So there's a god of a child, at least. Is Love Level Chain in here? I think it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. And so, guys, the Love Level Chain is right there. <laughs> is that what you're looking for? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, normal summon. Don't activate my effect, new. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want to summon the Altair from my hand. I'm good. I'm just gonna poke, poke, and make a Love Level Chain. Love Level Chain, detach, and put God, God Magician on top of the deck. Because then he has synergy with Kid. Yeah. Lately, I, I've been in love with Lalo Chain. Like, just being able to take that and set it up. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Another Mirror Force. Alright. Uh, I, 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 I must see one Mirror Force, get the other Mirror Force. That sounds about right. Anyway, I've been trying to determine, uh, of course, what day that I'm going to be talking about uh, my college experience so far. And, you know, not only so far, but in, in you know, I'm coming in. What I was thinking about doing was maybe doing the video and maybe cutting down the tag partner videos down. Maybe down to. Just, well, Tago doesn't count. Of course, Tago doesn't count because, you know, what I'm doing with Tiago, uh, he doesn't commentate, so that's no problem. So, yeah, because right now there's four people that I'm tagging with who all have the tag series and I was thinking about maybe cutting down to maybe like two and just bringing them back for when the summer comes or when I have a break but for right now you know I'm thinking about doing that I'm not sure if I was gonna either put up like a separate video talking about it or what well, well of course I should just go ahead and get my uh, Altair poke first you wanna mirror force me for a third time go ahead what to say you, you don't wanna mirror force me three times all right, so we'll go ahead and make that level level chain. Level 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 chain. I've just been seriously falling in love with this card, especially with just that. You know, just being able to go ahead and do these plays like this. Go ahead and bottomless me. Actually, you should have bottomless me a long time ago. So, of course, I'll detach you. Uh, just being able to go you summon you search for another one of you. Make a little chain. And this guy's like super background heavy. 
Okay. Oh, we're probably going up against Burning Abyss. Okay. I'll still get my effect. <laughs> That's all I care about is my effect. That's why I wanted to book a moon. Uh... Yeah, give me the Gaga Magician. The next turn, wish you do, I can uh, special summon this card, then I can target, it comes at level, but I can't connect my battle phase, that's fine. And it looks like we're going up against Burning Abyss. God damn it. I'll probably take the hit from Dante. Ah, fuck. Yep, yeah, Burning Abyss. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty clear. But, uh, I don't want to shuffle. That's my problem. I don't want to shuffle. Xe and Dante. Yep. No, it's fine. Mm-hmm. A little bit of a burning abyss touch myself, because it's the top deck and I want to play it. One of the top decks, I want to play it. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Okay. So it's some interesting plays. And lately I've not been really a big fan of making Delta either. It's been kind of like, why? Why make Delta? More background? Be kind of passive all damn duel. It's playing a lot of back row. No. It's fine. So clearly I don't want to be doing that. Alright. I don't want to send him to the graveyard because of course he'll go ahead and get one of his Burning Abyss cards and add it to his hand. Then if I kill this guy, and tug one Burning Abyss from us and you're you are supposed to make God, everything just floats. Floats like water. Oh, I can make big eye. But then I still can't attack. But I can still make big eye though. Yeah, I can just summon you, make you seven, you copy him, make a seven, X you and a big eye, take his um his monster. Yeah, it seems like a pretty chill idea. Of course I'll be milling shit out of off my deck, but it's fine, I guess. Oh, I think I fucked that up. Yep, I did. I fucked it up. Wow. Ah! I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and copy him. I wanted to make him a higher level, but I fucked it up. So. Oh, well. I was thinking, I was like, ah, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Oh, uh, so we'll go ahead and just go for Castell and bounce him. God, I fucked that up. I fucked that up real bad. <sighs> Fuck, I had one job and I fucked it up. I swear to God, I did. And of course, I can't conduct my battle phase, so... <sighs> God, I fucked that up. Ugh... I thought I could summon it, then make the level and copy it. No, it's when it's summoned. I fucked that up. I wasn't paying attention. That sounds like me. Yep. Yep. Dark Eruption, go ahead and grab tour guide back. Shocker there. It's been a cool minute. It's like it's been, it's been like a week, so it's been like a cool minute since I played some Yu-Gi-Mons and. <sighs> Some decks have just became the top deck that I totally wasn't expecting. If I hit that now, let's say, it's quite a sensitive grab. We can chuck one burning right now. Blah, 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 blah. No. Unless he didn't have another one, but I think he did, so it doesn't matter. I think I should just wait till he summons, if he, until he makes the Dante. Ugh. Yep.
Yeah, that's just, this sucks. This sucks. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. He's just gonna go ahead and see into another Dante. I'm gonna wait for him to declare his attack. I'll get him when he declares his attack. That this deck floats really well. Just, I can I can I can clearly see why it's one of the top decks because it floats. It floats so well. Like you, Konami's been making a lot of graveyard-based decks, yet you know we still have defigure and macro and shit at one. Like like that's really some bullshit. Like. They just don't, they, they know, they know, even graveyard decks work, you know, that's necessarily easy, Konami, a drop is easy, just make graveyard based decks. Mm-hmm. I'm just seriously just sitting here watching this guy play with himself. Make another one? No, you're gonna make an Alucard. God damn it. No, that's fine. I did not want to do that this early. I wanted to wait for him to commit to an attack. Oh well. Breakthrough skill. Yep. Yep, I'm definitely gonna lose this duel. I'm gonna get out resourced. You can't kill both my monsters. Yep, I'm gonna get out resourced. Ugh. Then you turn your booty to defense mode. At the end phase, he's gonna start going off. Oh, yep, Chaos Exceed the Downward Magician. Yep. Uh. And he's gonna go off and grab you another tour guide and just fuck. That's not what I need, it's more tour guide grabbing, like, ah. I can see it, I can see it now. I can see it. Oh, Breakthrough skill, that would've been, that would've been useful a couple turns ago. Uh, I guess it's still kind of useful now, but seriously. Alright, well, I can summon you, you can summon, or search, or whatever. I can make a 101. Damn. I guess I'll just make a one on one and take that. I can break through scale of the tour guide. Does she have some kind of protection effect? No, she doesn't. Oh, okay. She doesn't, I guess I'll go for Delta. It's not very often I go for him, so... I have been a big fan of him as of late, so... Let's go ahead and go for him. I could have made my warrior guy, but... I don't know. I don't know. Let's go into you. Activate your effect. Detection you. Then you go. Oh, check. Check. Like. Ah. Uh. Ah. They float too damn well. Like. Konami made a freaking TCG deck, and they made it well. Cause God, this deck floats. It's so buoyant. Just above water all the time. Alright, and what does he do? This card's in the guy's special someone from your deck. Like I just can't win. I, I can't you know, like 
Like, oh yeah, and I summon from the deck, and I summon from your hand, and I summon from your butt. Like, damn! Stop floating! Like, every single time I kill you! This deck. Yes. I I can see. I can see it. I can see it. I I, I was kind of I was kind of like oh okay yeah yeah it's burning a bit stopping okay okay I see it but now dueling against it this is my first time ever dueling against this deck like actually playing Yu-Gi-Oh dueling against this deck and I can see it because God he still got another fucking tour guide in his hand like come on. Yep, he's gonna grab back that Caius. And he's gonna put a tribute. My my uh my scarm and I'm gonna get my effect and just uh, And I have to use this break to skill, I'm gonna have to. And then of course he gets his effect, like, oh my god, why Konami? Why even for cost? Like why? Um, Konami just doesn't care anymore. <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm running out of resources. It's pretty evident that I'm running out of resources. <sighs> yep, I'm going to lose. Yep, I lost. Because I could break. I, I was waiting to use the breakthrough skill on fucking Caius, but nope. Fuck! Ah. Uh. I'm getting completely out of resource. I can clearly see how this deck is just top tier. Damn, I wanted that breakthrough skill for fucking Caius. Now he's just gonna go tribute all card summon banish. Oh, never mind. He's gonna tribute this. Yeah, I lost. I totally lost. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I lost. No surprise there. Oh my god, this deck. Hell no. What type are these? Dark? Fuck. Fuck yeah, Shadow and Prison Mirror all fucking day. Give me my fucking Shadow and Prison Mirror stat. I need a side inside of bitches, cause fuck this. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh. Yep. He is just sitting here touching himself, and I am just watching him jerk off in my damn face. I'm just struggling to stay in this fucking duel. You know what the really derp thing is? He still got the fucking, uh,. Fucking tour guide in his hand. So he could just make another fucking card. Ah. Yep. Just do this. You to you, you to you. Yeah. Yes. This is a hard fucking duel. It's the resources. It's the resource. Yu-Gi-Oh is a game of resources. Like, people don't understand that. Life points don't mean shit. As long as you got resources. And having a deck like this that can constantly float. That's a pain in the dick to duel against. Seems like no matter what I fucking do. He's gonna always have something, you know? And it's just like, fuck. I'll destroy you. I'll run over you, and then him, and then he'll get hit the fact that you'll fucking make a fucking... Yeah, then during the end phase, you'll search for another fucking tour guide and fucking Alucard and... Well... Oh, Alucard can return himself. Oh, 
Oh, you got two Alucards, so you sent the other Alucard. Okay, I'm about to say, I said other, but. So go ahead, go tour guide to tour guide, and go ahead and make another Dante or whatever, and just wreck my butt. I am running out of place. I'm running out of Telenite place. I wanted to get multiple duels in this video, but it's pretty evident that I'm not going to be getting multiple duels in. But the struggle can't be that bad. The struggle can't be that bad. On oh, I'm on a pair. Okay. Hear that. Just MST. Okay. Really haven't got much back row in this duel, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, it's pretty clear what the fuck that is, face down. Shit. I can make an emerald. I can go summon you, summon you, you search for nothing at this point. Two Vegas. Three Alt Altairs? One, two... I have one more Altair? No, it's a key material. No. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I have nothing to search for. I use both my so if I go, if I go summon you, summon you. I have nothing to search for. Nothing. Ah, uh, Douglas Rumble's eighteen hundred. So even if he makes a Dante, that wouldn't be game because it wouldn't be still uh, still not enough damage. So. Might as well attack first. I'll get more damage in if I attack first. So he'll die, and he'll be like, oh, when I'm sent to the graveyard, I can summon one in the graveyard, summon it, and just. Ah! Come on, I hate this deck. This deck is annoying. <laughs> like, why? And if, of course, if I kill him, then he gets his effect to add one back to the hand. Stop floating. This deck is too floaty. I'm this fucking tour guide in his hand. You. You. <sighs> I am struggling super hard against this deck. It's not what I wanted, but sure, I guess. I guess next turn I can activate, if I survive till next turn, I can activate this. Uh, get me child, but I have to discard a card, don't I? I have to send one card, so I need one more card in my hand. Ugh, this duel! Drew the card. Of course. Here comes Pleiades. Dante. Float so hard. Float so hard. That's it. That's game. You got it. This game. He top decked into victory. You want M7 too? Yeah, you do. That's game, you got it. I know you're gonna rip into that. At this point, how low your deck is, he should have. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Fucking Shadow Imprisoning Mirror all the fucking way. Debunks and everything up in my side. Just fuck that. That dick just float. You saw that. It just floated on water. 
whenever I had something, he just got all his resources back. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game of resources. <laughs> it's, it has nothing to do with life points. Life points are expendable. As long as you got resources, you can, you, you're still in it. And Soul Charger is a perfect example of it. No, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't keep up. I couldn't keep up. I, I didn't open up another back row and I just couldn't keep up. Couldn't keep up. Oh well. So let me go ahead and just quickly do the deck profile for this deck and uh, end this video. So be right back. Alright, so here's the gas deck. So we have three Altair, three Deneb, and three Vega, which is totally fine, totally fine one. Uh, of course, with the Artifact, we're in the Artifact Engine, so three Morale Attack with the three Sanctum. Didn't really help me in that duel, but yeah. Uh, we have uh, the three God, God Magicians and the three God, God, God Kid. So, Kid copies his level, but I can't attack. I kind of messed it up, but, you know, Castell is still a decent play, but still. Uh, my plays weren't bad. The deck's not bad. I just overall got out-resourced, and yeah. Uh, one Dark Hole, which is not that good this format. <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> Foolish to, I guess, seven... I don't know. What is Foolish for? To summon the foolish to send something for uh, Altair, I guess it's not worth it in my opinion. Book of Moon, sure. Two Rotas, of course. Three MSTs, uh huh. Uh, the three Anaman a pair. I discard a card to add one, you know, because I'm not running. It's all the money is Gaga, so pretty much I activate this card. I discard and I get one, so I neg one. Awesome search card. Neg one search card. Woo! No. Uh, one solemn warning. One Compulse, no Bottomless, don't know why no Bottomless, Bottomless, good. Turntold, not as much, but Bottomless is still good. Uh, uh, that's not the name of it. Stella Nova Alpha, I'm like, Celestial Factor, that's not the name of it. Uh, Alpha, I've been kind of nice to have, but nope, never got it. Still a really good card. I'm actually talking to, I actually talked about it in uh, the card review today, so if you haven't seen that already, be sure to. Of course, like I said, three seconds to go with the three Morale Tack. Not a fan of the Artifact Engine. Because my luck sucks, so yeah. I mean, I guess I opened up with one, but it's better than I'm not surprised. I'm surprised I didn't draw any morale talks. To tell you the truth, uh, three breakthrough skill. It it was gonna be useful if he didn't freaking alucard it. I said I was just waiting. I was just waiting for the perfect opportune time to use that breakthrough skill. He alucard like fuck. Huh. <sighs> anyway, two delta, one castel, one castel. Three Castel. Castel too good. Like, oh my god. Castel too good. One Heartland, I guess. Card's not even, card's not even good anymore. Uh, I am... Okay. 101. One 101 and one Castel. Mm. 101's not as good. Clearly, 101 is not as good in that particular duel. Shit, I would exchange this 101 for another Castel anyway. Especially with freaking uh, Dante going into defense mode. Like, 101. God. Excalibur, okay, I guess. Black Ship, eh, okay. Now, to me, it should be Castell, 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 <laughs> like, yeah, Castell that good. Um, Emerald, awesome, you know. I finally feel like if you're gonna run a Telenite deck, um, definitely one Emerald and one Lavalo Chain, because they will help you with your plays. Uh, one Blade Armor, just because, okay, they're warriors, so these two are like, oh, they're warriors, so why not, eh, okay. The one Pleiades, in case I ever got two Morale Tucks on the field, okay. Two Big Eye, and I don't know why two Big Eye. I, I would have went with one Big Eye, one Draco Sack. Why no Draco Sack? Okay. And, uh, and Felgram. Lava Chain. I like the Lava Chain. It's expensive, but I'm glad I have one. Alright, so here is the deck row pile. So, in this video, I didn't get to talk about my college experience either, so like I said. I'm either gonna put up, I'm probably gonna put up a separate video, and I'm just trying to very much be like, okay, out of these four people, who, which two do you want to still remain with tag series, to, you know, till further notice? Because it's just too many tag series right now. You know, during the summer it's fine. I don't have much to talk about, but when I'm back in college, and you guys want to probably hear about my day, you know, having, you know, four out of the seven videos in the week be tag videos. Nah. You know, two out of the two out of seven, that's fine. You know, five days I can go ahead and talk. Uh, you know. But no. Four's a little bit too much, so I'll probably leave it to you guys because I don't want I, I I personally I don't want to kick off none of them. You know. 
Oh, I like dueling with Lunar, I like dueling with Omega Chaos, I like dueling with Slate, and I like dueling with Stanzi, so, you know, I, I personally can't do it, so I'll probably leave it to you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put up a separate video, and you guys go ahead and comment and vote on it. Alright, so, I hope that this video was enjoyable. Apologize, it took so long. Like I said, if they didn't float so hard, I might have been able to do something, but they just floated so damn hard. So, uh... Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow, not sure, not sure, probably just for this week, I'll probably do no tag duels except for Tiago, just to get caught up with talking, so yeah, tomorrow I probably won't be with, sl with Slate, I'll probably be with myself using my mouth, and I'll start catching up on my days, alright, so I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed the video, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Mermouse.